Okay guys, uh, I want to talk about a key concept from Jeff Olson's The Slight Edge. This is the Bible. This is the book I wish I had written. Um, not only is like about 70-80% of it things that I have thought of at some point or another um, from hard work and where I'm headed really that I figured it out this shit but also the, the remaining 20% actually gives me new insight or actually um, shows me new ways of thinking and the 78% that's there um, solidifies what I've been thinking um, kind of expresses it really good well I want to talk to you specifically about that book today is um, something I've been thinking the slight edge um, and there's a graph on it and the slight edge is just your little good habits you do day in day out this is how the book says it this is how exactly I feel the slight edge is the little habits you do day in day out that don't amount to much people think you're just still the same and they're bullshit basically but they're the good habits that are going to make you successful so it's easy for you to do the habits but it's also like the book says it's easy not to do it and the point is 95% of people according to the book I'd say a bit more actually don't do it so the graph starts like this the graph is here um, and it curves upwards but the point is you if you do you do the good habit which is easy to do and easy not to do you decide to do it the five percent according to the book um like myself you are going to be like the gradient's going to be it's not going to be going up at all barely at all so nobody can see it but towards the end five ten years twenty years it starts to curve upwards now the thing that's easy to do but easy not to do when someone doesn't do that it starts out the same. It's easy not to do it, so you don't do it. For 95% of people, I know because I see other people and I know what they're like and I know they don't do this. They start off like this, ever so slightly down. You can't even notice it for the first 10 years. And guess what? Instead of it going up, because you, it, the things that were easy to do you didn't do, it goes down. And that came to me today when I was on my tills and there was a lady who was um, a 56 year old and just by the mere act of coughing thinks that she's superior at the moment. And at that moment, I thought straight of the Jeff Olsen book. I don't know much about that lady, but I know one thing about people. She's a 95%. Let's be honest here. So she's doing the things that are easy not to do. She's not doing them. So she, her whole life probably, has not been doing them. She's going, do 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 And I've been doing them. So me and her don't know different. I'm just starting, you see. But she's 50 now, 60, whatever. So she's probably going down, 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 down. Without even realising it. Slowly going down, slowly, 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 ever so slowly going down, 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 down. Maybe she's had a fast decline. That's me. Nobody fucking realizes it because success is uh, um, another good analogy actually for this hidden kind of. Not only are you on the gradient of doing the good habits, but they they kind of like don't move up that much. There's also another thing. There's the iceberg illusion. People look at success and think, whoa, it's amazing, right? But they don't look at the hard work underneath the iceberg, the, the amount of persistence, the hard work, all that stuff. It's the same. People don't see. Interestingly, my good habits that amounts to nothing in the moment, but adding up over time, that's key, adding up over time, go like whoosh. If people saw the little good habits and understood basic concepts of success, if people like this woman today understood basic concepts of success like this, do you think that she'd be feeling superior in the moment? I don't think so. Do you think she'd be humble and wanting to learn from a master, a fucking master of success? <laughs> no. She would, but success is hidden. The, the, like the, the slight edge, you're going along the graph, da -da -da -da, and whoosh! Maybe five, ten years' time, as soon as my business starts coming up, starts sleeping with girls, or beautiful girls, whoosh! It's going to be up there. But for now, I'm just, at, I'm just at a level where nobody knows. It's not, whereas they're at a level, they're going down, down, down. So what you want to be doing is you want to be doing, um, going up. Do those little habits that mean nothing in the moment, um, that, that uh, cost you nothing, easy to do, easy not to do. Do them. Over time, you can, those habits are going to take you places. Time is the key to that one. Give it time. All right. Peace.